Hello everybody and thank you much for watching. In this video we'll show you how you can use DAX wirelessly if you're owner of a Galaxy tablet with a DAX support. Let's begin. So the setup is quite simple. I will use my Galaxy Tab S6 with the DAX support. I will use X10 touch portable touchscreen monitor with the built-in battery and I will use the Google Chromecast Ultra to receive the signal from the tablet. So the connecting everything is again it's simple I'll use the micro USB type B to USB type A OTG adapter which this um, screen has the connection for so I'm gonna plug that in this will allow to supply power to the US, to uh, Google Chromecast Ultra then I will use the mini HDMI to HDMI adapter to pass the video signal to the display so I plug this in here let's plug in this Chromecast Ultra into this adapter so that's what is connected next I need to get this cable plug in here for receiving power and I'll use this to plug in here so right now I'm gonna shift camera to pick up but the light is lit up so this means the Chromecast receiving power so any second the screen should show me the default Chromecast wallpapers so let's wait for a second for this to happen I can see the Google uh, icon shows up it's gonna tell me that it's connected to my network because it was turned off just a second ago so while this is doing that let's jump to the tablet with the tablet, what you need to do, um, I'm right now in Android tablet mode. So basically, as you can see, it's just Android tablet. I need to, I'm gonna swipe down and tap on one of the icons. Basically, I move the icon for Samsung DeX at the start. So if I tap on that, I'm starting the Samsung DeX on my tablet. That's good. So when it start, started, um, watch, uh, what I will use, it's um, Google Home app. Google Home app is basically where all the smart devices are linked into one. So I have a bunch of them. I have a couple of home, uh, Google Home Minis. I have a Google Home screen and Shield TV and a fridge. Uh, no, sorry, the smart plugs and etc. etc. So I have one of them. It says Stadia TV. So Stadia TV is basically this Google Chromecast Ultra. I named this Stadia TV because it's arrived with the Stadia Founders Edition. At the bottom, I have an option saying cast my screen. I get I get notification about this casting the screen. It says this device not supported, so you can uh, I might get a, a different experience. Just cast my screen. Get a warning message saying that everything what I'm gonna see on the screen will be casted on this. So that's fine. I'm gonna press start, and as you can see right now. I am moving stuff on the tablet and as you can see it's moving on the on the on the actual screen so what I'll do uh, by the way yeah one downside obviously it's a bit laggy so if I grab the mouse if I grab the mouse and I'm gonna try to move this it's a bit laggy it's a bit latency okay this is not ideal for games I don't think the tablet screen needs to be always on if I turn this tablet screen off uh, the signals will stop so if I open up the signal back on again so if I go to the brightness settings and I lower the brightness to a maximum on the tablet and now I can actually take the tablet put somewhere screen facing other way and I can use this as my main screen so let's go into our website okay reddit is down that's not ideal so let's refresh hopefully reddit is back up so you go reddit, reddit pages back up so i'm browsing samsung dex subreddit group and the actual inputs in the, the picture quality etc is not the best but for work kind of for work related tasks like you are in a conference room and you want to show a slideshow or something on a bigger screen which is let's say hanging from the ceiling and you can't really reach to plug in all the cables this kind of setup is, is one of the options I would say you, you should consider setting up uh, and then and, and using it. And if I go, for example, to the YouTube and I'm going to try to watch one of the videos, go, I'm watching the unboxing of actual this screen. And the picture quality is okay-ish, is not the best. And the sound is maximum. So if I go increase sound on the tablet. Uh, branding, jobs. There you go, no problem, it works. And 
this is not the best for gaming, but it is great for work tasks. Um, there you go. That's it. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next one. Goodbye.